I'm Sandy Sims with SDS Digital and the Accord Melisma module. Today in this tutorial we'll cover the link remote control via MIDI. If you have a MIDI breakout panel you can easily jumper the Melisma's link header to it. This will add some features like MIDI merge, channel defined secondary MIDI output and remote control of some of the internal functions of the Melisma. Remote controlling can be from a keyboard or pad controller like the BeatStep Pro or any programmable controller. In this tutorial I'm going to use my trusty U-Control UC33 because it has a nice big sliders on it. Once you have an input to the link bus, only two wires are needed for this. You'll need to set the remote control MIDI channel to that of your controller or keyboard. This can be done in Melisma's settings quick box. Scroll down to the entries under the dashed bar to Link Control Chan, and then choose a channel. I'm using channel 1, but the factory default value will be set to uh, 16. This can also be disabled by selecting Pass 16. Now you need to define each function CC number. Under the MIDI CC quick box, logically, are the CC remotes. Scroll to the Link CC Remotes section. PROG, or program setting, also has PC, MIDI program change, as an option, but we'll use CC11 to match my controller. I have already set the rest in ascending order, and we'll go through each control next. The first slider was assigned to change Melissimus program number. The range is split into 8, making it easy if using a controller like this. If buttons were used, it would be a better idea to use the MIDI PC program change. The second slider will control cordless selection from 1 to 8. Like the program number on the first, chord lists are selected over the range, but this must also include all chords option, which makes it 9. This is at the very top of the range. The third slider will control L hand sensitivity from 10 cents per millisecond to 290 cents per millisecond. I'll unplug the gate input so L hand notes can be heard. This, among other factors, gives control over the density of notes the L hand input produces. L-hand notes don't play on the screensaver piano roll though, as they can quickly clutter the screen. This doesn't change the user setting permanently though, and as can be seen here, still at 80. But exiting the menu does update the setting to that value. The next internal control is the Spread Modifier Intensity, or Selector. Spread modifiers were covered in the Spread video. The selected modifier is Notes Order. Spread quantizing can be turned on and off as well, just like the quick box control. You can 
hear spread quantizing kicking in and out at the extreme ends. I'll slow down the gates so this can be heard more clearly with the slow spread. And unplug the Elhan CV for a moment. So this MIDI CC is divided into 10 segments over the range. The CC for slider 5 was set to control the ARP type selection. This works in the same order as the ARP button does, with the ARP LED and display indicating the change. assigned was the A clock trigger. This is an on-off type of control so is best used with a momentary switch on the controller that jumps above 63 to trigger an A clock. As you can see this overrides the trigger on the panel so it can act as a pause of sorts. By itself it can be used as a trigger for A clock as well. This might be good for tapping out notes or as part of a MIDI sequencer's sequence. Our upcoming Sequorlel MIDI sequencer could do this well. The last MIDI remote control is the hold state. This acts just like the jack when the CC is above 63. Hold engages. By the way, progression reset can be configured to 8 clock or hold, which adds yet another function to this. The A clock and hold controls can be used together like this. There is one more remote control via the link input that has no settings but is on as long as the link remote is assigned a channel, a root note control. This control uses notes one might be playing on a keyboard or tapping onto the pads of a controller to transpose as the root knob does. The root knob's position sets the octave that will be used, and all notes coming into link are dropped to the base 12. The octave switch point, if root knob is set to a C, or 0, plus, minus 12, or 24, will happen at the keyboard's note C. If the root note was set to minus 3, then the change would happen at A, making it the lowest note. The root CV still does its usual offset, plus or minus. So MIDI notes on the link control channel take over the root knob but preserve its octave. This was to avoid complexities with offsets and make the feature more enjoyable. If chords are played, the lowest note has priority but doesn't reset until all notes are released. This demonstration will explain it more clearly, I think.
It's pretty easy to play, but this was all in minor chords. Alternating with other chords might be trickier, but also more interesting and maybe more fun. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on using the Link Remote feature. Thanks for watching.